So we've made it to the end of the year. Can you believe it? And of course, a new month means it is time for yet another episode of the top Android apps. This is the December edition, the final of the year before we hit the ground running again in 2019. And of course, I have 10 new applications to showcase to you all today. But before we get onto the episode, I wanted to quickly mention today's sponsor, Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes available to teach you a whole range of skills such as cinematography, editing, motion graphics, plus heaps more. It's available for Mac and PC, but also on iOS and Android devices, and you can also download any course for offline viewing. I'm currently watching a Premiere Pro color grading course by fellow YouTuber and creator Geordie from Cinecom, and this is a deep two hour dive into all the different tools available within the Lumetric color tab in Premiere Pro. The course is really helpful and super extensive, and it's teaching me lots of great tips and tricks to help improve my color grading game. And this class is just one example of thousands available on Skillshare. Premium membership starts at around $10 a month, and this gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields. But for the first 500 people to sign up using the link down in the description, you can get two months of Skillshare for free. All right, on to the apps. So starting with Cartagram, and if you're tired of the endless amount of unsplashed wallpaper clients available on the Play Store, but still want a creative approach to changing up your wallpaper, then this app is absolutely worth giving a go. So the app lets you create very visually appealing and minimal custom wallpapers using your device's location settings and a range of unique map designs. You simply pick a location, set your favorite style, then capture your wallpaper and set it as the backdrop. It's ridiculously easy to set up and looks pretty top notch as well. There are a wide range of map styles to pick from within the app, depending on whether you're interested in a darker, more minimal look or a more vibrant eye-catching vibe. The resulting wallpapers look super clean and high quality on just about any home screen setup. Definitely give it a try. So it wouldn't be an episode of top Android apps without a neat and tidy icon pack. And so today to fit the bill, we have the Yeetax icon pack. This icon pack is semi reminiscent of what you'd find on the Pixel devices, but improves it tenfold with a flat and uniform circular design and that long drop shadow to go with. And it really does look super clean within a home screen setup. The app also features over 4,300 icons, which is just about as good a coverage as you can get for an icon pack, plus 50 high quality wallpapers to go with. So if you're looking for a new icon pack to add into the arsenal, then this one is definitely worth a shot. Not only that, but the developer has also been kind enough to give me 20 free promo codes for this icon pack, which I will be releasing over on Twitter in the coming days. And these go super quick, so make sure you're following me over there to be the first in line to get this icon pack for free. Now, it's definitely been a while since I've featured any form of a calendar widget application on my channel, but then I stumbled across the calendar widget by Home Agenda app and found it so eye-catching that I just had to include it. So as expected, the app lets you place a clean, minimal and stylish calendar widget anywhere on your home screen and even just straight out of the box, it looks great and will fit into just about any setup really well. But what takes it that next stage further is that you can jump into the settings and customize it to make the widget look and feel pretty much exactly how you want it to. It also integrates really well with whatever calendar application you have installed on your phone and it seriously does look very clean. Not only that, but the developer of this app has also been nice enough to give me 10 free promo codes, which is amazing. And I will again be giving this away on Twitter. So again, make sure you're following me over there using the link below to be first in line to get this app for free. If you've been around on my channel for a little while, then you no doubt know that I love a solid pixel style launcher that offers solid customization. But every once in a while, a unique launcher shows up that I feel I just have to showcase and Square Home definitely caught my eye. And so here we are. So for those who can remember, you'll no doubt recognize that the Square Home Launcher is a clear emulation of what we saw as the home screen setup on Windows phones. And even though I used a Windows phone for a solid year or so as my daily driver and really couldn't get on board with the overall OS and lack of app support, there's something about the way that the home screen works that is undeniably clean and stylish and that just feels very fluid. It features a home screen filled with widgets and app shortcuts that makes finding the app or information you're after super quick and efficient. You can also customize it to your heart's content, adding in apps, widgets or shortcuts, or even dividers and cubes to lay it out in a way that makes sense to you. And so if you're looking for a drastic change to how your home screen looks and behaves, then Square Home may be worth a download. 
I've showcased a few note-taking applications in recent times, but Notin is a new one that I've come across that is clean and minimal, and that is perfect for those who like to take quick notes on the fly for the sake of remembering something later on. The app is super simple in its functionality. You just simply tap the app icon and an overlay will pop up that lets you type whatever you need to. Once you hit the plus icon, the app will then send the note into your notification feed and that's it. It will then sit there until you're done with it, at which point you can simply swipe it away and it's gone forever. You can also upgrade to the premium version, which enables sticky notes that won't be cleared even when you tap the clear all button, as well as what are called undying notes that will revive even when you reboot your device. It really is an app that is perfect for setting a quick reminder or saving a piece of information that you don't want to forget. So if you're finding yourself in that boat, then this app is worth trying out. All too often when I receive a notification, I wanna read it without the pressure of needing to respond straight away. And so an app that has come to the rescue is the aptly named Unseen. So the app works by filtering any chat notifications you might receive into the app. And this means that anytime you receive a chat message notification, you can simply open up the Unseen app instead of the native chat app, read the message in full without triggering the seen icon in the application of choice. And then you're free to respond to the message whenever you are ready to without any pressure whatsoever. The app supports most of the popular chat and messaging applications, including Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, Viber, and Telegram, as well as a bunch more. Plus, you can also activate a chat heads feature, and there are also a range of themes to select from within the app to customize the look and feel to your liking. So if you're looking to gain a little of your privacy back by reading messages incognito, then this app is definitely for you. Okay, this one is super neat. So you know the touch bar that comes with the latest MacBook Pro devices? Well, this is an app that kind of emulates the touch bar, but on your Android device. You can set it up to be in a persistent always on mode or as a slide in option, which is my personal preference. But once activated, you get this neat little slider menu that gives you access to a range of toggles and application shortcuts. You can set up three shortcut and toggle docks, a music widget dock, a custom widget dock, and an app detected dock. And the functionality and operation is seriously impressive and really smooth as well, which is great. As well as that, if you're not happy with how it looks by default, you can of course customize the color palette and save your customizations as themes as well. So a packed to the brim, feature packed application that will definitely up your productivity game. So this next app is actually not strictly an app in and of itself, but it's actually a collection of wallpapers that come pre-installed on the iPad Pro 2018 devices. Now, I know this is an Android related video, but when I see good looking wallpapers, I have to, in all good conscience, tell you guys about them. And seriously, these wallpapers are of the highest caliber. iOS wallpapers have been pretty top notch for quite some time, although I will admit that for the past few years, the new releases have kind of blended in with the old. And this new collection of wallpapers is something fresh and creative that I've really enjoyed using on my Pixel 3 XL. Definitely check out the link below to download the folder full of these high quality and highly creative backdrops. If you're someone who doesn't really find that you use the Google Assistant function on your Android device, then you might wanna consider installing the Assistant Shortcuts app that replaces that functionality with an alternate action of your choosing. So once set up, you have the option to select from a range of shortcuts that will activate when you trigger the Assistant gesture. So you have the ability to set it up so it launches into a quick note action, great for quickly scribbling down or sketching a thought you might have. You can also set it up to trigger the notification or quick settings panels or to take a screenshot or toggle the flashlight, plus a heap more on top of that. There's also a range of navigation options that you can enable, such as quick switching between apps, entering split screen mode. You can even set it to lock your phone or if they don't fit the bill, you can even just set it up to launch into an application of your choosing. It's a powerful app that is definitely worth trying, particularly if you don't really use the Google Assistant function. And finally today, if you're yet to see your Android device upgraded to Android 9.0 Pi, or you just want a little more control over your volume sliders compared to what we're provided with straight out of the box, then Volume Pi might just be worth trying out. The app itself is really simple, and once you've enabled the necessary permissions, it will replace your stock volume slider menu with a minimal Android Pi inspired slider. What's cool though, is that tapping on the settings toggle will open up an extended menu with each of the different volume controls available for you to adjust. This is actually a better implementation in my opinion than what we have on the default Android Pi version, which instead opens up the full settings menu when tapping on the settings toggle. Aside from that, there's not much more to it. You can choose which side it appears on. And there's an option to activate a swipe in gesture, which is quite nice. There is also an alternate developer preview version available in the accessibility settings, which will give you a slightly different look if that's something you're interested in. 
A simple application, but super effective. Aside from that, that is it for today's episode. Make sure you check out each of the links down in the notes below to download all of the apps mentioned throughout the video and let me know which ones you'll be checking out by leaving a comment down below as well. On top of that, if you have any app suggestions that you think would fit this top Android app series, then definitely let me know with a comment down below as well. If you enjoyed the video, then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated, a subscribe even more so. But that is it from me. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.